How can you measure FiO2 in a gas mixture? Uh, so there are various ways of, of measuring oxygen. Um, you can use a paramagnetic analyzer. That's the most commonly used in anesthesia. Uh, in addition to that, other techniques exist, including mass spectrometry, gas chromatography, Raman spectro spectroscopy. Uh, electrodes can also be used and are frequently used both in uh, gas machines uh, and in certain portable ventilators. Uh, these are either the, um, the uh, Clark electrode or the fuel cell. Um, uh, what are, what, how does a fuel cell work? So uh, a fuel cell is uh, essentially consists of, of two electrodes. You have a gold cathode and a lead anode. Um, and uh, the gold cathode is in solution. Um, and when exposed to oxygen, uh, the current between the cathode and the anode will increase and the voltage will remain steady and the magnitude of the current, which represents uh, a re oxidative reaction at the gold cathode. Um, so that current, the magnitude of that current uh, is calibrated to certain amounts of oxygen and then can be used to measure oxygen tension in the, the sample exposed to it. Yeah. Uh, and can you think of any disadvantages of a fuel cell? Fuel cells tend to be reasonably slow to react, so they take between sort of 10 and 20 seconds to, to react. So it's difficult to get a breath by breath result uh, when, when using it on critically unwell patients. And do you know how to calibrate a fuel cell? Uh, so generally they are calibrated uh, to room air and 100% oxygen and possibly also to 50% oxygen um, by being given specific samples. And then this is, is used to, to calibrate the currents and then the fuel cell will interpolate between these values. And how does a paramagnetic oxygen analyzer work? So oxygen exhibits paramagnetic properties. What this means uh, in terms of measuring oxygen is that the paramagnetic analyzer contains, uh, it is essentially two spheres with one sphere um, filled with oxygen and one sphere filled uh, not with oxygen. Uh, and when there are increasing amounts of oxygen in the sample to be analysed, this causes a deflection in the spheres. Uh, the magnitude of this de deflection is uh, measured by a transducer and an electrical signal is generated, which is processed and expressed uh, as a percentage of oxygen. Yeah. Um, and do you know any different types of paramagnetic analysers and how they work? Um, I'm not sure about the different types. I know there's the null deflection type, which is now more commonly used where a, a force is applied to keep the spheres in position and that force is used to measure oxygen, or there's the original type, which measures deflection alone. Yep. <laughs>